Alright guys, welcome back to Mr. Chow video. I, I waiting for a train to clear. How come these okay there it goes? So today I just kinda take you in a day in the life of Mr. Chow and I show you around, I show you Mr. Chow's chicks, I show you pretty much everything. I need to clean that up too. For some reason, there's grass growing in my street there. I guess it's not my street, but I take care of it because I'm such a nice guy. So first thing, I always, first off, I always get stuck by the train for some reason. It always get me, but I just get back from Granny, Granny's shop. We just get done with work. I think we repo two, three, very nice car. And I always drive my Lambo over every time. And I usually go like a hundy on the interstate. And I get the grand like in no time. So first thing I do, I get out of my Lambo. Then I come over here, make sure my sign's still looking very good. I made this just a few days ago. Uh, it's say Mr. Chow's Chicks because that's what it's called. So first thing we have like a million chick here and over here This is where my white chicks go. These guys they decent I say Don't get that much prize money, but sometimes they win next thing. I got my black chickens. They decent again They just not the best uh, Once they done fighting they have very short lives. So you know they fight few fights then they get tired they get weak they get sad or they lose but uh, then they get tired, they get injured, they're just not the best, then I usually just sell them off. But the bad thing, when they get in fight, like they're really strong and stuff, and it just, the meat don't taste that good. And I don't know, I keep them around mostly for just, you know, mixing it up. Next thing, I got my brown chickens, and this one, I have about 50 of these. These are pretty good, Mr. Chow liked them very much, and... You know, I always take them down. I, I feed them very well, and they seem to be good. That one got big chest. And here's my cage for King when I stole him. If you guys remember, I stole King from Granty. I'm very mad at Granty. See, Granty comes steal all my Lambos and everything. And at the time, I didn't know, like, the bank. I thought I'd win, like, a raffle or something. I walk in the bank. I say, can I get money? They say, yes. And I kind of walk out. And then all of a sudden, Granny come a few months later. And he come take my vehicle. I get mad, take King. You guys know how that all play out. Mr. Chow loved these chickens. These are my favorite chickens the whole wide world. See, look here. They have the spikes on top. I use them for weapons. So I tell them to walk up and then they, they like headbutt or something I teach. See, look, look. Just like this. When the enemy down, when the, when we take them to fights, this is, how, this is the finisher. I, t I say this is the finisher. I teach him it. He practicing right now for you guys. Very nice. Thank you for showing us. See another one do it over there. I just tell them practice all time. I think they do it because if I come over and they're practicing, I usually feed them very good. So I kind of train them a bit. And yes, there he do it there. Anybody else? A few of them always do it. Yeah, they they like to do it to show me, you know, their moves. There we go. So that's their favorite move. This is how that we always win. This is how I make so much money. And by the way, guys, I have $1.4 million. These boys make me the most money for sure. I don't... I don't really ever sell their meat. They're just too muscular, you know? It don't taste good. People like, you know, fatty meat, have lots of flavor. These, not too good. So my chickens, you guys probably always wondering, like, how come, how, what, what does he feed them to make them so strong and stuff? And I have a lot more than I show. I have a lot more in, like, other places too, like other towns and stuff. Mr. Chow's chicks go national. One thing that's really hard on Mr. Chow like, I get done working at Granny's because, you know, I have to, like, get my Lambos back and stuff. And I, I make a new friend with him. And he paid me pretty good. But my chickens, especially these guys, they eat so much. They eat so much. And I already tell you guys I feed my chickens chickens. So when they go and fight, then they eat the other chickens. Well, they eat so much food so fast, I have to get new food. So today, I show you guys the process of me getting more food for them. Before I can feed my chickens, I need to get the food. So one thing I have to do is pretty much every day I always harvest things because like my chickens eat the whole entire field. So what I have to do, I mean they make me so much money, I pretty much just buy houses all the time, field all the time, and I have to keep, you know, getting food for them and harvesting. This is my combine. Even though I make lots of money, I, I try and keep my equipment very small. Mr. Chow is the best driver. You guys see this before. And, you know, Granny always tell me, you know, uh, you need to drive better and stuff. And I just never learned too much. So, I just drive this smaller combine. It's my favorite. Look, It looked really cute. And, I don't know, it just worked good. The chickens like it every time I pull up. They like it feeding time and stuff. Then I just, you know, do this or two. And then some of them actually jump up on here. Because... It's like a feeding frenzy, like kind of like when you throw in fish 
uh, in front of shark how they all just like swim around it but for these guys like some really strong chickens they jump all the way up to my pipe there and they eat straight from the pipe kind of like kind of like you eat like maybe from a hose or something drink so we just on our way down back to the farm and we were just at one of these fields down here to to harvest and I just on my way back Mitchell th thank goodness that there's no no cars or nothing Usually I have them all backed up and I sometimes I take the whole whole road because like they start honking and stuff They take it all out of the way. They know I miss a chow And I give them the bird and I flip them off and then And then like sometimes I just take them the whole road because Mr. Chow get very mad very easily You guys probably see this on squad YouTube channel, but I will be making more videos here Let me know if you guys enjoy them. I don't know you guys seem to like me on squad, but we'll see we'll see so Maybe I cross the tracks or something. We have to watch out for the train. Usually it always hit me. But I hit back. I mean, child love of his combine. I, I always drive it here. I, I pretty much never really break down on me. And I have to repaint a few times other than that. I just repainted like last week. So it's pretty, pretty clean. And I need one more piece of equipment. And I think we're ready. My chickens are getting hungry. They know, they know the feeder is here. So they hear the feeder. They see the feeder. They smell it. Surprise none of them jump out of the fence. I have to make taller fences like every time because they just get stronger and stronger Last thing I drive down is my Fiat. It had a little wagon in the back. It worked great So when I pull up I can unload sometimes it's just a load in my combine But I use this too and then I just hit that lever it seemed to work really good and yeah so we gonna feed them with this anything else I need to tell you guys I think that's it again I pretty new to these video so they should be getting better, but just let me know what you guys think in the comments. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff, and I see you when I'm back at the field. Mitchell, almost ready to rock and roll. Next thing I have to do, pretty much just jump in, we get rolling. So, one thing I always like to do is start her up, get a spinning, maybe lower it down just a bit. These kind of shorter. But pretty much, is my favorite field to harvest out of all the fields that I harvest. And I today, I pretty much just feed my chickens. Mr. Child pretty good at farming. Mr. Child don't ever tell Granny that I actual farmer. He just think I farm chicken. He think I just like buy these or something, train them. But I actually, I do, I do all of it. I feed them, take care of them, sing, sing them bedtime story, you know, all that stuff. I, I give them milk from the bottle when they're young. I pet them, let them run in my house. All of this, they my friends. Granny just think, you know. I take them to fights and stuff. He think I illegal. Like, sure, it illegal in America, but back home, this stuff happen all the time. This is just new market. Mr. Chow very smart. I come here. I know nobody people fight, but like people not good as good as Mr. Chow. I show them the way, and Granny kind of like think I bad guy or something. He think I international criminal. Mr. Chow never tell Granny or you guys that there's Mrs. Chow as well. So I have kids. I have wife. Mr. Chow is good looking enough for a woman, you know. Granny also doubt me on this, so you know, Granny always, Granny always have been that nice, Miss Chow. We need to uh, maybe show Granny a lesson here or something. Miss Chow also have a friend, so sometimes I able to hire out my friend. He he helped me and stuff, so he about full, and I I run and feed chicken while he keep harvesting, make things a lot quicker, faster, you know, all that good stuff. So here we go, pipe out. You know, just simple stuff. There we go. Keep harvesting. Very simple. Miss Chow, you know, he farmer. I get out here, I get my hand dirty. Even though I dress really good and stuff in front of Granny. You don't notice, I drive Lambo. Miss Chow, you know, he get down dirty. He, he playing dirt. Miss Chow feed his chicken now. It's time to feed. Oh, they coming. They know. They know it's time to eat. They get all excited. Sometimes they eat each other. Because this is, uh, the barley. But inside this barley, special recipe, I, I, my own seed and everything. Go ahead, unload. Holy cow, they're eating the whole kitchen. Mitchell, go ahead, feed these guys. They got a little bit left here. About 500. I feed them real quick. We get them going. You know, they they always just so hungry. This be gone in like two seconds. Then I have to come back. And, and it is like a whole day thing. After I get done working at Repo, I have another job and all that. So, you know, Miss Chow, busy man. I, I do like working with Grandy, but, you know, he might have to pay me more down the road. Miss Chow, go ahead and get another load. And if you guys want to check me out on Instagram, 
I think I have a link in the description or something and like kind of down below but we take over Spencer TV channel just for some day he let us you know kind of take over so yeah one more thing granny talk about having like some farming tournament or something he's doing so let me know if you guys want miss chow to you know wolf up on everybody I farm for a living so I I, I showed these boys how to run it they make a chicken farm and sell my chickens make a bunch of eggs and I could be everybody it'd be easy so let me know let me know maybe miss chow go ahead steal some people's car use my hook and then hook up and you know repo some people with my new learn talent well, you know, people farming or something, I take the farm truck, put it on my flatbed, then steal or something. But I have to have my Lambo. Whenever I have, I have my farm, I make sure to have Lambo. Oh, don't feed them too much. There we go. We go to the next one. Make sure everybody eating. Sometimes they get mad if I feed one and then take a little bit to get the next one. They see. They're watching. And then they say, they, they mad at, they mad at Mr. Child. They mad at Leslie. Leslie just mean good. There we go. We feed the next ones. They are hungry. They fall. They're hungry. Then they fall. And we keep going like this. So my friend out there just harvesting. I pretty much run through. It's very simple. Very simple day here at Mr. Chow. But it's a lot of hard work. I just get done working. I have to get back to working. The train's so annoying. It always come by here super loud. Mr. Chow hate him. The conductor like... Don't like Mr. Chow either, but you know, if you guys ever want to check out my farm, make sure to come back, stop by and stuff. So, thank you guys for watching. My GoPro about to die, so I have to turn off. Sorry about this one. We just keep keep feeding them. These guys hungry. They, look at him. He has nothing to eat. He's so sad. They're happy that Mr. Chow here, but they have nothing to eat. We have to keep feeding. Mr. Chow, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. And I see you all in the next one.